the insides of this thing is crazy so cool. it was made so perfectly there was barely any extra space anywhere which was equally impressive as it is frustrating for me it's so compact there's like nowhere for me to put this Oh, I'm gross. I'm grossed out. Can you? Oh, watch it. Oh, I'm not the first one. Get on there. Oh my god, it's so creepy looking. I'm so grossed. Right, right now. I don't even want to touch it anymore. I'm done. That's it. I can't do anything with this. I did start by looking for a place to fit the output, but then I decided I should actually check to see if it would work first. So I soldered the output on to check, and then I had to unsolder it again to drill, and then re-solder it once it was in place, to put it all back together again. And even after all that, I forgot to show it working at the end. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to do this, it's pretty self-explanatory, but then maybe I think that because I've done it like three or four times already, but if you desperately need to know, I explain it on the first bend video on my channel, and I'm sure I'll explain it again in the future. Here I'm unsoldering the brown wires from the speaker that attaches the speaker to the circuit board. I'm now attaching those brown wires to the one side of the output. This is the side that doesn't lift up when the jack lead is inserted. Now I'm soldering the two pink wires I stripped earlier onto the speaker. And now I'm just soldering those pink wires that I soldered to the speaker onto the other side of the output. I then decided to trim down the brown wires and make them shorter, as I didn't want them interfering with the tape belt when it spins. As the tape recorder was built so compact, it took me forever to find a place to squeeze this output in. I just didn't want to drill a hole until I was absolutely sure it would fit. I didn't want to ruin the tape recorder. I guess I got sort of too attached to it. Okay. 
this is my first time drilling. Um, shout out to all the drill bits I went through instead of just using the biggest one. I literally went up every single size every time I'd like drilled the hole because I had no idea what I was doing. And I didn't realize that you could just drill a little hole and then use the biggest drill bit to drill a bigger hole. Like you just needed to put a notch in there first. But then, also, the biggest drill bit didn't even make a big enough hole to fit the output through. I had to, like, put the drill... I had to, like, put the drill in and, like, wiggle it round the hole to try and make it bigger, because it just wasn't getting big enough. I did it! <laughs> Still can't believe I put it back together and then didn't show it working. But make sure to check out part two where you will see it working. <laughs>